Hi, I'm Jen, and today I'm going to show you how I like to use the Content Aware and Cloning tool in Photoshop CS5. Content Aware is amazing. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close to perfect. It'll erase anything out of a photo that you want, and with a very minimal amount of work, you can make it look like it never happened. So well, we're going to start by erasing this hairband on this picture. So let's get a nice big brush that's going to cover the entire band. Select the Healing Spot tool, and then with the Content Aware selected at the top, just go right over the top and let it work its magic. Pretty amazing. It did a pretty good job. Another way that you can do this is to use the Lasso tool. Select the thing that you want to erase, select the whole area, and hit Delete, and that will erase it for you too. Just make sure that Content Aware is selected. So we're going to go over this a couple more times just to make sure it really cleans it up nicely. And there you go, you can barely tell that anything was over there. You can see there's a little spot right here that we might want to fill in um, that just selected too much of this other hand. So for that we're going to use the clone tool. Get a nice big brush again. Um, we're going to alt click or option click on a Mac to select the point that you want to start cloning from and then just paint it in a little bit. And then and there you go. We can go back with our healing brush just to clean it up a bit. So it's like it never happened. Here you can see the original and the new one. The original and the new one. And when we zoom out, you're not going to be able to tell that it was there at all. Okay, so I'm going to use my cl my cloning brush to um, fix these fingernails a little bit. They have some chips and stuff. So we're going to get a, a small brush. The way I like to use the cloning tool is to select a select a point and then move in a straight line from that point. So to select a point you just alt click and then we're gonna go straight from that point and then start painting. You can see the little cross there that's where it's selecting from and then you can if you look inside of your brush it's gonna give you a preview of what it's going to paint in. Okay so that looks better and again this isn't perfect but it's a lot better than it was and if you wanna take a lot of time to work on these. You can really make it look nice. There we go. I just do a lot of a lot of selecting. You can see there that didn't turn out quite right, so I'll just select again and then go right over the top of it. So right here, I'll go down in a straight line and paint it in. And sometimes it selects the wrong thing, so you just have to go and reselect and click it in there. Clean up this area here, paint it again. All right, those look much better. Take your thumbs and clean those up. There we go. And then there's a spot here, a spot here. Right, there you go. So we just painted her nails for her. It worked out pretty nice. So I'm going to go back to my healing tool, um, use it with the content aware to just clean up these fingers a little bit. Let's see, got rid of a little bump there, um, a little blemish. Um, and if you want to go crazy with this, increase your brush size. I just use that by using the, the brackets to increase. You can paint over scars, freckles. Um, but you should never get rid of things like freckles and scars because then you're erasing the person and not just a blemish. So there you go. That's the best way to use the content aware and the clone brush. And I hope that's helpful.